Ashdead has launched a buyback programme of up to £1 billion over the next 18 months. It also sees full-year results ahead of previous expectations. Joining us now then for an exclusive interview is the company's CEO, Jeffrey Drabble. Jeff, great to have you with us Morning, once again. Always great to speak to you about your experience in the United States. Of course, 90%, for those who are uh, unfamiliar, 90% of your business based in the US, the Sun Belt rental uh, business, a really interesting gauge for us on how the US economy is doing. Tell us then about your decision-making around returning cash to shareholders, upgrading your guidance. Sounds like things are going well. Yes, no, things are going well in America. Economy's strong. I mean, recently, as last Friday, we saw strong employment numbers once again. G uh, GDP growth is solid. Um, so we're seeing good organic growth. We're going to invest um, over £1.2 billion in fleet this year. Uh, we're going to spend it over a, uh, another £300 million year to date on bolts on acquisitions. But despite that, with the high cash generation and strong margins we have, uh, we think it's appropriate to look to returns to shareholders yeah. also. So I was going to ask you about the trade-off between the returning the cash <laughs> and investing it, because one of my colleagues was interested in your thoughts about rental fleet expansion. So the fact you're returning this money is not saying you're, you're, you're deciding not to spend it on, on, on rental fleet or not to spend on rental fleet, because you are doing that as well. But how much are you doing on rental fleet versus previous years? Oh, no, our, our, sort of our rental fleet expenditure uh, remains strong, slightly stronger than in prior years. Our rental fleet in the year grew 18%. Um, so clearly we're growing organically. We've added to that with Bolton m and So share buybacks isn't an uh, indication, as it may be, that you're running out of other things to do with the cash. We're trying to strike a very sort of balanced approach. How much uh, does the tax reform affect you? I mean, assuming this goes through, uh, I'm sure you've looked at the numbers. What does this mean for Ashted? And is it in your forecasts? Um, it's not quite in our forecast yet, as you'd expect. We've done uh, modelling. It certainly isn't an element which is built into our cash flow forecasting in terms of the buybacks, but our effective tax rate would come down from mid-30s to mid-20s, and our cash tax rate uh, would come down from around 19% to around 10%. So it is potentially significant from a cash flow perspective. There'd be a one-off benefit. We've got a deferred tax liability on the balance sheet. Unwinding that, it, let's say the 20% tax rate that's proposed, that would be a £400 million saving. So, yeah, it, it, looking forward, it is um, potentially material in terms of our cash tax. So material in terms of your cash tax, but, but what about for your, for your customers and for how you, how you view it as something that's going to stimulate your business? Is this going to be good for your customers and therefore good for you, this tax change? Well, certainly the premise. I mean, clearly, we, we would not be alone in seeing cash savings from uh, these proposed tax changes. The question is, how do people spend those, um, you know, th those cash savings the expectation would be that some of that would uh, trickle into the economy and that would be and that would be very positive you know that, that's a cash generation against a backdrop of a very confident um, business sector in North America at the moment Jeff I wonder what you think I mean it's hard for people who haven't been in the US to understand how decrepit the infrastructure there is with bridges <laughs> uh, you know near collapse roads falling down and JFK airport seems like it would be better located in a third world country. Do you expect any spending, any additional spending to, to kind of beef that up? And, and is that in your forecasts? Yeah, once again, we haven't included anything from the, you know, the much heralded uh, infrastructure initiative. But it sounds like you and I have traveled a similar amount in being stuck in various airports around the US, and it's hard not to agree with you. You're starting to see it. Anyone traveling into New York right now, going through uh, LaGuardia, will see a significant uh, um, initiative there. So uh, we're seeing um, bond issuance um, at a, a municipality and state level starting to... Um, create extra infrastructure plans. So, yes, I, w we have included some thoughts on uh, further um, infrastructure spend, but we have not as yet built in anything for a, fun, uh, you know, a big fa the trillion dollars um, of Trump infrastructure initiatives. So, potentially, depending on what the Trump administration decides, there could be some upside revision to your guidance based on tax and also on infrastructure. Look, the, the, guidance, we, be, the, the, the guidance we've given is based on current tax um, legislation and current infrastructure. Any of those changes are likely to be the upside, not to the downside. Okay, Jeff, thank you very much.